Let him come in. Cole, you gotta catch him. Hey, Cora. Woo. Darcy, that's a freaky. Oh, come. Yeah, ha! <laughs> hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Working the bison tomorrow. It is our spring roundup, and uh, so you know what that means. We gotta get everything ready. We got some new freestanding panels. We got chickens to move first. We gotta take care of them. Brooks's chickens, they're going to a new pen. And then we are actually setting up and getting ready to work our bison. This is gonna be the biggest working at the Ponderosa. So we got a lot of work to do today. We got Cole and Marissa, Maya, Betty to help us get it all done today. And then we'll work bison tomorrow. Hope you guys are ready for it. Don't forget, we have a new merch drop, so you guys can go check that out at our website at crosstimbersbison.com. Thank you. like Meryl Streep over there. train them in here in this pen where they can come and roost. Probably need to put a couple more two by fours in here so they can roost. But um, get them used to staying in the pen where they can get food and water and shelter. And then when we feel like they get old enough, we can uh, open the gate and start using the chicken room where the door opens and closes. And they can come in and out and they'll come back to this place to get food, water, to roost which is the main thing because they can be protected in here if they come to roost in this closed tight pen uh, to keep critters out plus it's in this barn where we reduce animals like possums or raccoons coming up here jackies up here the horses up here and they, they'll be able to use this chicken run come in and out and a safe place to roost at night and uh, so we can move this we can pick it up and take it around too if we want to 
I got one little set piece, buddy. Woo! Part of getting set up we had to remove our feed bin that we've had out in what i call our trap area marissa and i had to get the feed bin moved into one of our big main corrals and part of using the feed bin is to if the bison see that feed bin they know what's in it so it's an attractant and they will typically run towards it and it's an easy way to catch our bison because it is a distractor for them Woo. Easy girl. Now, this feeder actually still had lots of feed in it. It is very heavy, probably over 10,000 pounds of feed. But in order to move it, I tried to move it with my skid steer, tried to push it, tried to pull it. I tried to move it with my truck and it is still too heavy to move, unfortunately. So what we did is Marissa and I, we used some of our oil filled pipe. And what we did was we spread them across and we basically could roll them over the pipe two joints at a time. And so I would pull a little bit and then we would get to where the pipe was about to run out and Marissa would come and replace the next one. And so we did this and it, it took quite a while. We only needed it to go 70 yards just to get it inside of our main corral so that we could catch the bison. But luckily Marissa was there and was able to help me. And so she's running around moving that pipe. And I think it kind of surprised Marissa how heavy the pipe was, obviously, which resulted in breaking her phone, unfortunately, this day. I'm thankful for her help. And she got the pipe set and we moved it and we rolled it, we set a pipe, roll it and set a pipe and eventually got it to where we wanted it and we got it set. Another thing to check off the list to get ready to catch the big Joe herd and to work all of our animals at the Ponderoso. And then I'm shove them back. If I'm catch them in there, it'd be great. But it'll be new, so they'll be a little unfamiliar with it. But if I put cubes out and stuff, they may. Just go right in. They may just go right in. Here's the problem though. If we're gonna work them first, the yearlings, the hoss group first, we have to get them out of this big pen into here, right? That's not a problem. I think I can do that. The problem is, is you've got 27 animals trapped in the lane. Well, you, you batch them though. It, it's gonna get rough and rowdy. That's too many animals, this is not very big. Well, because we've been doing the additions inside the Ponderosa barn, we haven't been able to put the RV inside the barn. So what we're gonna do is, I've gotta move it. We're gonna start building our pens and stuff. So I've got some freestanding panels around our hay bales. It's nice that we, we do have some hay bales left over this year, which is always a good thing to have extra. I've got to move the hay bales because the animals are going to be in here and I don't want them to destroy them. They will destroy them, even though they have green grass, it's something to play with. <laughs> got to get the hay out, going to move the panels around. We're going to get this pin set. Then we're going to go get the big Joe herd, let them in the pasture one and start revising our ideas and stuff and putting them, put them to use and get these animals up here and get them ready to work tomorrow. Roundup season is here.
All right, we got a pen set up. It's a catch pen trap for Big Joe Herd. There's uh, currently 14 of them in there because, well, Haas got out the other day and uh, another yearling heifer got out in that group. So uh, Marissa and I and Cole are gonna go down the pasture. We're going to get Big Joe Herd up to pasture one and we've got cubes for that. So we're gonna just get them up pasture one. I think they're just gonna start grazing uh, because this is a, fe a fresh pasture and it hasn't been grazed in a couple weeks. So I think when they come up, they're gonna be busy grazing and then um, we'll see if we can catch them in the trap pen. If we don't do it now, we're gonna try again this evening or early in the morning and we can go from there. So let's go get Big Joe. All right, let's go get Big Joe. We just opened the gate, they heard the ATV, so they came running. Didn't have to go very far. So I'm gonna back up and hopefully they'll just follow through. Um, I'm making gate cut Hoss back into his home, but let's not count on it. Or I don't know if I should do it. Come on! That white tag may come through. Marissa, can you shake that bag some for me? Oh, come. Come on. Go ahead, Big Joe. Well, she said nope. Hoss, oh, come this way. Hoss, you wanna go this way? Hoss, no. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, ha! Get back, get back, get back. Come on, 1508, come on. Come on. Go. Go. Shoo. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's just Hoss now. Okay. Well, there's a bunch knocked off the list right there, except him. Troublemaker? Troublemaker. I told you they'd just go to grazing. I don't know if we can move them right now. What, what's the? I think if, uh, oh, I was just worried that maybe they won't follow us, but if we opened all those pens up, I think we can let them be. They're optimistic. Just go in there and have feeders in there. They'll catch them. Up. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get them to the big pen to get them to the small pen. They get excited anytime you move them to a new pen, new pasture, or whatever. So we'll see. We'll see what they do. Storms feel like they're rolling in. There's a 30% chance today. So because of uh, because of the conditions. This is not something that we're used to, is having this green of a spring. And as wet as it's been, there's lots of grass right now. So, which is a, a blessing and a good thing. But um, problem is, is uh, they want to stop and eat grass. So normally if it's dry, you can control them with cubes and you could take the cubes and we could drive all the way up to the front like you've probably seen me do before and they would have followed us. But as soon as they came in here, they put the head down and now they're they're doing what they're supposed to be doing so i can't take it away from them but they'll settle in here they'll graze and then we'll get them up to the front with cubes because they'll they'll still want cubes eventually so watch our back here he, awesome. he'll he'll jump at you close that one so they don't see back out yeah
Where shall we count them all? Please. Thirteen. How many? Should be fourteen. I think. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. Fourteen. But you do that big pin, look at him go. Oh, he's your buddy. They're coming. Come on. Keep shaking it. Come on. Come on. Is that gate open? It is. No, that, that. The other gate? No, I shut it. I'm sorry. I felt here. You want me to go get it real quick? Well, we'll have to just pull up there and open it. But you're going to have to pick it up and push it. They're coming. Cole, you got to catch them. Let them come in. Shut this gate. That one. There's a freaking bison in that pen. There's a bison in that pen over there. How'd they get in there? How'd they get in there? Oh, I opened the gate over there. That's just Hoss. Those two are on the other side. Sure? Yeah. This is all of them. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you watch that. They'll be happy in here. Just like my old coach used to say, sometimes you gotta have a little luck. <laughs> I don't know how I get so lucky, or we get so lucky, because um, I, we go down to the pasture to catch Big Joe, and they hear us, first of all, and so we don't have to go into pasture three, four, they come and find us. And then as they're coming through the gate, I'm able to gate cut three of the, the South Dakota heifers out of that group out of the Haas group. I couldn't get Haas, but um, it worked out where we got Haas over here by himself. But uh, my point is, is one, all that's going on, I left the gate open up here in the corral. When you see these calves behind me, we get up here and Cole's like, and I, I looked in there and I was like, I think there's bison in there. And Marissa and her, I know I confused. Well, Cole's on the right side. So he hustled around and actually caught them. And we didn't even have to do anything. We literally shut a gate. They're just so interested. They wanted to come in here and I've let this grow up because it takes a lot of traffic and beating whenever we run the bison through here for we're working. So they've been in here grazing, Cole shut them off and, and then we got the big Joe herd caught. So they're where I want them. I'm not too worried about the yearlings. They are cube friendly. They love the cube. So we're gonna open that up for them later, but we're set so far, fingers crossed. We'll just stick with that. So things are going well right now. But if you know me, you hang out and watch watch me. You know something's gonna something could happen any minute. So 
With that being said, we're gonna start working them tomorrow. You guys will see that on the next video, so we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Not getting in there, bud. Sorry, Hoss.